The Golden State Warriors this season so far have been having a disaster year, definitely one that they do not want to have. Steph Curry is still playing at an exceptional level this year, but Draymond Green obviously has, has issues, you know, with all you know the punching and all that. Chris Paul, you don't even really hear about Chris Paul. I know he's currently injured at the moment. Hopefully he can come back soon, but he's injured. You don't hear anything about him. Obviously, Klay Thompson here has been having his struggles this year. He's a free agent after this season, so I'm actually pretty curious to see what's going to happen with Klay Thompson here. But regardless of that, Golden State Warriors are currently the 12th seed, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But either way, they're not even in the play-in thing. So things are not looking well for this Golden State Warriors roster. So as you can see by today's video title and what you're looking at on screen right now, I have decided to put LeBron James on today's Golden State Warriors roster to save their season. If there's one man that can definitely save this season and turn this thing around, it's LeBron James. Obviously, this is big too because if I'm putting LeBron on this roster, that means that LeBron and Steph Curry are both out there at the same time. Now, this is LeBron's from a couple years ago. So... That's why his overall is a little bit higher. You see he's younger. But either way, still got LeBron and Curry on the exact same team. This should be very, very interesting. I'm pretty curious to see how well this team is going to turn out. And hopefully they do pretty good. I'd be pretty disappointed if they don't. So let me get you to rotation first before we start simulating the year. And here's a rotation that we're going to be rocking with. This season, we got Steph Curry at the 1, Klay Thompson at the 2, LeBron at the 3, of course, Draymond Green at the 4, and Kevon Looney at the 5. We got Jonathan Kaminga coming off the bench along with Chris Paul, Andrew Wiggins, and Dario Saric. Let's see how well this Golden State Warriors roster is going to do for this season with the addition of LeBron James on the team. I'll update you guys at the All-Star break with how things are going, and I'll see you guys shortly. We're here at the All-Star break, and of course, we end up with Steph Curry on the roster, because why wouldn't we? LeBron on the Golden State Warriors is on the roster, as well as Axel LeBron, who's still on the Lakers in this, but we do end up with LeBron from the Warriors on the squad. And at this current point of the year, we're 37-13. and 13. We're currently on a seven-game winning streak, so that is great for us. 19-7 at home, 18-6 on the road. Things are looking up for this Golden State Warriors roster with LeBron on it. Although we only have a four and a half game lead over the Pelicans for the first seed out in the Western Conference, things are looking up and I could definitely see us going for a title this season. I'll catch up with you guys at the end of the year with all the stats and the awards and all that. And hopefully LeBron and Curry, this duo here, continues to lead this Golden State Warriors roster in the right direction for the rest of the season. And at the end of the season here, we end up with Luka as your MVP averaging 37 a game. That's crazy. Victor is your Rookie of the Year. Russell Westbrook is the sixth man of the year for the Clippers. Giannis, defensive player of the year. Jalen Johnson as your most improved. Uh, we do end up with LeBron from the Warriors on the All-NBA first team. So that is obviously great for us. Steph Curry is nowhere in sight here. So that his numbers definitely uh, did tank this season here. Which is pretty interesting also. This LeBron ends up on the All-Defensive second team as well. So shout out him. So he obviously was having a great year for us. I'll show you all the stats for all the players before we uh, get into the playoffs here. No, I guess Steph Curry, unless I missed it. And if I did, I missed it. I'm sorry. But Curry averaged 30 points a game. She also averaged 5 assists. So he was doing great. Braun averaged 26 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists. So he was absolutely killing it. Clay Thompson with 16 points a game this season. Kaminga had 14, 5. I should pretty much 15. Wiggins had 8 and 3. Draymond with a very Draymond line of 8, 5, and 6. And Chris Paul averaged 7 points and 7 assists this year. And at the end of the season here, we finished 63-19, and 19, so we were first in the Western Conference. We were nine games ahead of the Denver Nuggets here for the first season. So obviously things went really well for us. We were 32-8 and eight at home, 31-11 and 11 on the road this season, 121 points a game. But obviously the season's not done just because we made it to the first seed does not mean that this championship run is over because we still got to go out there and win 16 more games. In the first round of playoffs here, we're going to take on the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, no changes to this roster. I've made actually Vucevic. Actually, I've done this multiple times here, and the Grizzlies keep getting Vucevic. So I guess that's a 2K thing. I have no idea how to explain it. But anyways, so we should be able to still beat them. I hope. Uh, in game one, we do take game one, 13 point win. Curry with 47. I'm gonna show you guys some of the stats and everything because I think it's pretty interesting to see how like this combination of Luke or not Luke, I should say Curry and LeBron are gonna be doing. LeBron with 32 in this one. Curry with 25. 2 0. This should be probably a clean, clean sweep, I should say. 41 from Curry. Thompson comes in with 32 in that game and a clean sweep. Just like I said, 121 of 4. Nothing that they could do against us. We were absolutely 
killing them every single game. So let's now move on to taking the Pelicans, who are the fourth seed on the year. Let's see if they made any noticeable changes to their roster first and foremost. And it looks like they did not. Pelicans are a solid team. So obviously this won't be an easy matchup at all. In game number one, we do win by 14 points, though. 32 from Curry, 25 from Clay, and LeBron with 22. Draymond also had 20 points in that one. Game number two, we'll score 137. LeBron and Steph Curry combined for for 70 points. Wow, 75, I should say. That's crazy. And in game number three, we do lose game three by one point. Ingram, Valanciunas, and Zion are too much for us in game number three. But we move to game number four. We take another win. Zion drops 25, but it's 36 from Curry. Chris Ball had 20 points in 10 times. So he was definitely killing it. And we end up moving on to the next round, 161 to 140. 85 combined points for Curry and LeBron. That's crazy. So now let's move on to the Western Conference Finals. And let's see who we're going to be playing. So we're going to take on the Dallas Mavericks. We got Cleveland, Milwaukee out east. Uh, this is obviously before the actual trade deadline. So this roster isn't completely accurate. Malcolm Brogdon, though, the Mavericks, they require. So that is an interesting one. So let's see what happens here. In game number one, we do take game one by six points. Curry with 31 is able to haul us over a win against Dallas. In game number two, we win 141 to 107. 43, 16, 14 from LeBron. What a performance right there. That's for the record books. Another win. Luka with 52, 9, and 15. But it is not enough because we still end up winning that game. That's that's so tough. We do lose, though, in this one. Luka, that 48 from him that game is definitely enough to put the Mavs over the top. Uh, we do win the next game. LeBron James is your Western Conference Final Average P. He averaged 29, 9, and 7 in this game. So we're going to be taking the Milwaukee Bucks in the NBA Finals. Uh, let's make sure they don't have anyone else. No, actually, they got Clint Capella on this team. So no Brooke Lopez. They got Clint Capella. I think Brooke Lopez is a much better fit. But we'll see how, what happens here. We do win game one by four points. Curry with 33 in game number one. In game number two, we also take game two only by one point. But 34 from LeBron, 26 from Curry. Clay Thompson's got 25 in this one. He's been doing pretty good in the playoffs. Yeah, I was about to say, 19 points a game in the playoffs. I'm completely okay with that because that's crazy. 135 to 109. Another one, Jan drops 30, but Curry drops 37. And LeBron with a 30-point triple-double. We're now one win away from the NBA Finals. And we do end up winning. The Golden State Warriors have won the NBA championship. LeBron James is your Finals MVP, averaging 30 points, 8 rebounds, and 9 assists a game. So as you can see by today's video title, if I put LeBron James on the Golden State Warriors roster, he will save their season as they swept the Milwaukee Bucks in the NBA Finals and they are now NBA champions. So if you all enjoyed the video, please share, like, subscribe for future content. If you want to just any other players and put them on the team to save their season, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. If not, have a great day and I'll see you next time.